A nearly 40-year-old cold case is now connected to the upstate. According to a police department in Ohio, DNA connects the victim to Lawrence County. 7 News' Ayla Perone explains how that information might help solve the case. 38 years ago, in just about 600 miles from this spot, a man was found murdered and the case went cold. Now new evidence is connecting him here to Lawrence County. Lawrence County is hoping people will see these photos. I don't know if you've seen this Lawrence County Sheriff's Office post showing renditions of an unidentified murder victim, an African American man 20 to 35 years old. It might even help, you know, by being close to the family, they might even be able to figure out who did it. And help the Twinsburg, Ohio Police Department solve a cold case from 1982. Unfortunately, really since then, you know, besides a couple updates as far as the sketches go, we really have had basically no leads. Detective Eric Hendershot with the Twinsburg Police Department contacted a group that uses DNA to identify cold case victims. Many of the DNA matches are coming back to, to Lawrence County, South Carolina. From there, they can uh, kind of deduce who that person is. And experts at the Greenville County Forensics Lab say DNA can connect a person to family members. Because DNA is the blueprint, how you are connected with uh, your family. And can be extracted from crime scene evidence. It doesn't get destroyed. And it is there um, for years and years. That's one of the tools that they have to use in law enforcement. Ed Cyrus lives in Lawrence County. He's also former law enforcement and says he values the use of DNA to solve crimes. A lot of people see DNA uh, sources as an invasion of privacy. I don't, I don't feel that way. Hendershot says the DNA matches created a lead. We never knew that before, and we had no real leads about who he was or where he was from. He and those here in the upstate hoping soon this case will get some answers. Hopefully we'll, we can find this person and uh, maybe get some closure for the family. Anyone with information on that case or who that man may be is asked to call the Twinsburg, Ohio Police Department. We'll have that information on our website. I'm reporting in Lawrence County, Ayla Farone, 7 News.